What's up everybody, my name is Dan On, and welcome to Honestly. Today we're gonna to be doing a sizing guide of the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022s. Over here on my left is the small in the gray PU leather, and over here on my right is the regular in the teal color. Now the colors are gonna be really important because I'm not gonna be the only one talking here. I've had friends come in who are different sizes and shapes to review both of these or to sit on and compare the sizes of the two just so that you guys aren't listening from me the whole time or taking my word for it. Now, why am I doing a size comparison, especially when Secret Lab already has a reference guide on their website? And the reason why is because I have a lot of friends who come over and they know I review chairs, so they sit on my chairs and I've just noticed some comments that they made about this chair and this chair that made me go, huh? Something doesn't line up. So hopefully this will help you guys and inform you guys better if you guys decide to pick these chairs up. Let's get honest. In my last video, I showed how only 5% of you guys are subscribed and you guys have responded to the call brilliantly. Now 5.2% of you guys are subscribed, which doesn't seem like a lot, but that means like the world to me. So thank you so much. Also, if you're new here, what I like to pitch to people is why subscribe to the giant Walmart YouTubers of the world who will never respond about you where you don't really matter. Whereas here at Honestly, you matter. And if you comment down below or reach out on my socials, I really do my best to respond to all of them. So yeah, if you like that approach, please subscribe. So I'll start first, I'm five foot six, 176 pounds, and the regular chair is definitely too big for me. Everything else about this chair feels great, except for the seat here, and this is probably gonna be the most critical in terms of comfort. So if you look here, my feet, don't touch the ground. As a matter of fact, even if I stretch, my heels barely touch the ground and I even have carpet on the floor, so it's raised a little bit. So that goes to show like really how deep and how tall this chair is, if that my heels, even when stretching my legs down, can barely touch the ground. Now, you might be able to get a foot rest and raise that foot up, which is gonna be the ideal position for your knees, for ergonomics, but what's gonna happen is because of the seat depth is so long, it's gonna rub against that calf. If you're shorter than five foot six or you have particularly short legs and a long torso, it might even put pressure on that calf, which is gonna get very, very uncomfortable. So I would say if you're five foot six or below, you need to steer away from this. Some people might think like, oh, five foot six is the upper echelon of the small, therefore I should get a regular. I'm telling you that's not the case. As a matter of fact, I think even taller people can fit inside of the small and should not look at the regular. So let me hop over here to the regular, or to the small. And if you look here, even this is why I said even taller folks could probably fit in the small, is that being five foot six, if I squeeze my legs to the ground, my heels are on the ground, they're making okay contact. And if I lower my whole foot, I'm barely, barely got my legs on the ground. Even now, it's still too tall for me. Even now, the seat depth is still kind of touching my calves. So I would say that if you're below five foot six and you sit properly like this, you probably wanna get a different chair. You probably don't wanna look at the Secret Lab chairs. They say it's like four foot 11 up to five foot six. I'm telling you guys, if you're shorter than five foot six or you have particularly short legs, the Secret Lab is not gonna be the one you wanna go with because if you're wearing shorts and you're rubbing all up on here or if you have shorter legs, your heel is gonna capture or it's gonna get caught in that front seat and it's gonna cut off circulation and it's not gonna be comfortable. Now, if I got a foot rest, I can definitely raise up and you can see that my, in my case, again, on the upper edge on five foot six, my, heel, my calves are not touching the back of this chair and that's if I raise up. So if you're gonna get this, you're five foot six, you're probably gonna to wanna to get a foot rest. This is the reason why I say that the small can probably accommodate people, I'm gonna say all the way up to five foot 10, but the biggest things that you're gonna to wanna to consider are gonna be your torso length and your shoulder width. I have very small shoulders, like very little child shoulders. And because of that, when I reach back, when I stretch back like this, I'm not running into these curves here. However, my friends who have broader shoulders told me that when they reach back, this is digging into their shoulders in a way that they don't like. So that's gonna be something you're going to wanna see. Now I'll put all of my dimensions and B-roll here in just a minute. You can see what everything looks like. I'm, and I'm not doing it accurately with the fabric measure. I use my you know, woodwork uh, tape measure over there to measure, so it's not gonna be super precise, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what to look for. Also, if you're on the taller end at five foot 10, I talked about the torso height. The reason why that matters is because of the where the headrest lies, that if you're tall on the, if your torso is on the bigger or longer end, then the headrest might not fit you perfectly. Now, let me go ahead and turn it over to my friend who's five foot 10, his name is Edmund. I'll let him do the talking. 
Hey everyone, my name is Edmund. I'm here looking at some gaming chairs and how my body fits in them. I wish I had chairs like this back in the day when I was into gaming. I was a huge Duke Nukem geek. Shake it, baby. I'm 165 pounds, five foot 10 inches, five foot 10 and a half on a good day. I've tried many chairs because I've had disc issues in my lower back for quite a while now. Um, so these chairs are actually pretty comfortable, but I have noticed some sizing differences between the two. So starting with the headrest, this one certainly fits more comfortably the way my head and neck are shaped. Like right here is perfect. It'll, it'll stay right where I want it to. But this one I've noticed that it'll, I mean, it'll stay, it'll, it'll go to the position I want it but I've noticed after a while, it does sort of creep down on me and I have to keep raising it. Actually, now that I think about it, everything from the headrest down to the arms feels a bit more comfortable in this one than this one. The shoulders fit uh, a bit funny in this chair for, for me. I, my shoulders are a bit on the broader side. <laughs> this, this little, this little uh, nook here isn't quite at the level of my shoulders. So when I, when I stretch my shoulders back, the curve seems to jab into my double part of my back, whereas in this one, that little that little nook fits nicer when I stretch my shoulders my shoulders back. The lumbar support actually is really nice between the two, and, and that's what I love the most, and they're equally comfortable. The armrests on these chairs are pretty amazing. Uh, you can maneuver them and put them in any position you want, but what I have noticed is that to be comfortable with my arms resting, the armrests in this chair have to be on their innermost setting. Whereas on this one, I have to have them pushed all the way out to have the same level of comfort. But other than that, the armrests are both equally comfortable. Sometimes when I want to change it up, I will sit like this. I think I prefer this chair in this position because I notice there's a bit more room for my legs to be this way. I also prefer the fabric over this material because during the summertime when I sit like this and it's this type of material, I, I collect sweat underneath my foot. Gross. <laughs> the other key difference is the amount of depth in the chair. This one allows me to have my feet resting comfortably on the floor. It's also not digging into the back of my knees. Um, whereas this one, even though the width of the chair is better uh, for the position that I mentioned earlier, it does feel like it digs into the back of my knees a bit more and my feet aren't quite planted on the floor in a natural, comfortable fashion. Now let me turn it over to my friend Young, who you guys might know from The Blind Guys. I'm looking for chairs that are good for taller people. Which if you guys haven't checked out, please do. I'd really appreciate it. I'll let him do the talking. Yo, so I think out of all the chairs that look like this one, I didn't really like the other ones. No, this is, this is no good. This is no good. No good, no good. This is no good. But I like this one. I'm young. I'm 6'1", 190 to 195 pounds. And the regular fits me the best. I think this, the small, is just a little too small. So the headrest on the regular fits much better on taller people. So if you look from the side, right now, this headrest is perfect on my neck. So it's really comfortable to sit on it. However, on the small one, if you can see from the side, this headrest is at the highest it can go because I don't think the magnet goes high enough for the headrest. But if I'm looking at, if I'm looking, I mean, leaning back on it, you'll notice it's on my shoulders or my lower neck. And if I want it to fit like this on my neck and I look up, I pick it up and then sit, you, there's no magnet up there. So it just kind of falls and it's not comfortable. You have to keep readjusting it, so. So for the back and the shoulders, the regular feels just a little bit more comfortable because the upper back is just a little bit wider and I think it feels better for me. In terms of the lumbar, I think it's pretty much the same so I can't really feel the difference between the two. However, the width and depth for the regular size feels much more comfortable compared to the small and it just feels bigger so it feels better on me. So my feet do touch the ground for both chairs and I actually had to raise both chairs up so that my feet comfortably lay on the ground and as you can see, I did have to move the chair up. When I'm fully tilted back, I think they're both comfortable, but for me, the regular size, it felt so much more comfortable because it was just bigger. 
I wanted to throw out a couple other comments that I got from friends. One of them is Charles, who's also from the blind guys. He's about five foot nine to five foot 10. He sat in my regular and he said, my feet don't touch the ground. And he said, this is really confusing. So yeah, that's why I said, even for up to five foot 10, you might be okay in the small. Again, provided that you don't have these massive shoulders. My other friend, Andrew, who's six foot one, and he's like 220 pounds. He says he actually prefers a chair to really hug him. So he sat in both of these and he actually preferred the small. So if you like the idea of a chair hugging you, then the small might be for you. That was definitely an outlier comment. So if that confuses you, just ignore that one. But in summation, basically what have we learned? I would say if you're between five foot six and five foot nine, and you don't have these massive bodybuilder shoulders, then the small is definitely gonna be your ideal fit. If you are between five foot seven, all the way up to, I'm gonna say about six foot two, and you have wider shoulders, then you probably wanna go with the regular. Now, I'm gonna say based on, I'm gonna, this is an assumption here. I'm gonna say anybody who's six foot one and above can probably go with the XL, and the wider shoulders you have, again, I recommend that you probably go with the XL. Your legs are gonna to touch the ground, your shoulders are gonna be in a better position, and for all those reasons, again, this is just my assumption here. I have to make a deduction because I don't have the XL, and um, so yeah, if you're six foot one or above and you have particularly wide shoulders, I think the XL is definitely gonna be the one that you wanna choose. All right, guys, I hope this video helped. I hope it helps you figure out which one you should buy. Uh, Secret Lab is running a promotion on, on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and in December, so if you guys wanna wait for that, please do. But if you do, please come back to this video, use my links as it helps this channel a lot. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so those affiliate purchases really help this channel a lot. Until next time, guys, stay safe, and as always, stay honest. Stay honest.